everyone, I'm Shanas from Manage Engine and in this video we're going to be talking about the decade-old malware CACBOT. Now CACBOT was originally discovered as a banking trojan that stole bank login information and other financial information. But over the last decade, CACBOT evolved according to the cyber threat landscape and now it facilitates attackers with a range of capabilities. Now CACBOT is dynamic in nature and it has a lot of building blocks to it and using CACBOT, you can perform a range of activities starting from reconnaissance to lateral movement to data exfiltration and most importantly, with CACBOT, you can now deploy other ransomware in other devices. Now CACBOT, as I mentioned before, has a lot of building blocks to it and the attackers can pick and choose the building blocks that they want as part of their cyber attack game. A few of these building blocks include an attachment, hyperlink or an embedded image followed by macros execution payload download, and then it follows by a process injection, and then we have data exfiltration, scheduled tasks, and then we have lateral movement and ransomware deployment. Now, out of all of these building blocks, the attackers can pick and choose the building blocks that they need. And CACBOT is so complex that within one CACBOT campaign, there can be different types of building blocks that can be used to infect different kinds of devices. For example, on one device, there can be a few of the action blocks that I mentioned before that can start from an embedded attachment or a link followed by macros execution, payload download, and credential theft. Whereas in another device of the same network of the same campaign, they can move from credential theft to ransomware deployment as well. So this is how different devices can be infected in different ways using the CACBOT malware. Now, due to the versatility of the CACBOT malware, it becomes extremely difficult to detect and contain such attacks. Now, this demands a coordinated threat defense mechanism, and that is possible only with the help of a SIM solution. Because a SIM solution is going to detect process executions, payload downloads, data exfiltration, ransomware deployment, and so on. And also, SIM solutions come with built-in correlation engines. And these correlation engines are going to correlate activities happening across the network. So we have a chance of identifying malware activities happening across the network with the help of a SIM solution. Now, if your SIM also comes with a threat intelligence module, you can identify if your SIM is communicating with a command and control server as well. Now, with your SIM solution in identifying CACBOT infections, you not only have to be reactive, but you also can be proactive while you hunt for threats with the help of a SIM solution. Now, you can hunt for threats and identify a malware infection and remediate it then and there with the help of a SIM solution. Thank you.